Hello YouTube. After a long search and try of many many different color displays, I have finally found one that I like. It is this little guy. It is a 1.3 inch 240 by 240 pixel IPS color display. The display driver is the ST7789. They come like this, so you can solder them directly to your PCB, which I am doing. And they also come like this on a PCB. This PCB has one disadvantage. It does not have the CS, the chip select pin uh, on the pin header. So you can use only the display itself. If you want to use it in a project that has another SPI device, and needs a chip select pin you cannot use this display and I did start to edit the code for my clock <clears throat> which you can see here and I also made a PCB for it I ordered it it's done it's being shipped right now and it will replace my ice cube clock and will be a color display not only that it will have automatic display brightness adjustment and some other features like changing the color of the fonts for example to the ones that you like so this is on my uh, previous PCB that still has an SPI connection on the newer ones I didn't even use SPI no more but now I am back using it uh, of course I will not use the PCB version of the display as uh, it's just too way uh, not to add it's too big so i will use this version of it and i did uh, create a eagle library for this pinout including the two holes that you can see here for alignment i will put that in the link if you want to download and use it and uh, this contraption here is my canvas simulator network and simulator I did this so I can use it it has a female port like on the cars so I can use my gauges that I make with the regular male pin and try them here before I install them or send them out it runs on 12 volt and as you see uh, it has a potentiometer for the speed and RPM signal. The rest of the values are simulated, as you can see here. Uh, I can also... Let me go through there. I put the touch sensor underneath here. And I can, on here, adjust the brightness. Uh, high or low on this one and has on off switch here so without further ado this is my new creation it is the color can gauge mini it is practically in between the can gauge micro with a single OLED display and the bigger we gauge with the five OLED displays. Uh, this one has 10 near pixels as well as this one as you can see here. And let me plug it in and show you how the code looks like as of now. So this is the first screen. The colors are subject to change. You can see here and before I go further let me show you what this thing here does uh, this one has brightness control for actually let me go to the second screen which is the speed it has brightness control for the neo pixel and the display so this is full brightness uh, it can go down very much it does not show as much as I would like to show it but it is pretty dim now but it looks 
bright, but it's dimmer than in, in nature. And it does go up to bright. So this will be able, you will be able to attach this to your dimmer uh, in your car to any light actually that's dimmed in your car with the instrument panel. Or you could also attach an LDR to it and have it automatically dim. Uh, doesn't matter if your lights are then on or not. So this is one additional feature. That's why I like the the color display also because you can dim it with the OLED. You can make it bright or not so bright, but you cannot actually really dim it as much. So this is the RPM screen. I mean. RPM speed screen of course you can long touch the sensor and it switches to miles per hour and long touch it again it switches back to kilometers per hour next screen is the RPM with the shift light and the indicator shift indicator and the other screens are simulated I added the NeoPixel to these screens too these are not the final colors, uh, they will change. And so this is your coolant. This is your oil temperature. I did added the logos and such. Let me make it actually a little bright, it's too dark for my taste here. This is intake air temperature, that is supposed to be an air filter. I hope you can make that out. This is ambient air temperature, voltage. Airflow, this screen will most likely be replaced by a MPG, miles per gallon indicator or screen. Uh, this is your catalytic converter temperature, bank 1, bank 2. This is your oxygen, sen oxygen sensor, uh, upstream and downstream, left and right. And this is your fuel tank. This will change also. I might make the logo different colors for empty or full tank or to reserve. And also show the fuel tank on the NeoPixels down here. This is the gear indicator, which is according to your car, but how many gears you have. It will show the correct value, of course or the correct gear and this is the timer screen which I change around from the OLED version and here once you start driving and hit the 100 it says finish and it shows you the time it took and it tells you to stop the car once you stop the car it resets and it says floor it once you hit your gas pedal and pass the 100 kilometers it shows you the time Meanwhile, it shows you the speed here, and then when you stop, it resets again. This works also in miles, uh, in 0 to 60 miles. Same thing, once you hit 60, it stops the time, tells you the finish, so shows you the finish flag, and goes back again. I also have a special screen which is just for me but you can use it too because I'm not gonna always uh, measure 0 to 100 and I have a version with you if you touch it the sensor extra long it switches from it switches to 0 to 50 timer kilometers as you can see here so this is it and the next screen is off and if you turn the display off you can actually turn the backlight off too it does on the screen and then it starts over again uh, it does of course remember its last position so once you turn it off and turn it back on again the startup screen will change also it shows you the last screen you were in uh, this one will get a readout also with the new pixels. I haven't done it yet. And uh, this is just for uploading the code. So I have, I can have it plugged in, leave it there because uh, 
I have probably uploaded 500, 600, maybe even more times code to it. Since this is a new display, it has a high resolution. The bitmaps that I originally had were too small, so I have to create new ones and the alignment and whatnot. Uh, since you have more pixels, it's you cannot uh, calculate it that much, so it's more of trial and error. And uh, this is it, guys. It has, has also an EEPROM, and uh, it will be able to show full color bitmaps. Uh, right now, it would not fit on the 328, of course. And uh, this is it. And as you can see, this is very, very thin. And I will make, uh, oh, no, I will have them made a carbon fiber front like I have on the V gauge, on the can V gauge. So this will be shrunk into this size. Anyway, so this is just a preview. It's not finished yet, obviously. The code is still been worked on. I do have help from a friend, Rob. Thank you very much for all your help. And because I'm better in hardware than in software, I do admit that. But I'm learning every day something new. So, especially today, I figured out with the dimming of the screen and the uh, new pixels. And it might it's a very crude version and it will improve on for sure but it does work and I like it so if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh, if you like them thumbs up if you don't like it thumbs down I don't uh, it doesn't bother me everybody has its uh, personal opinion and uh, I'm of course not perfect, I do make mistakes, but I think this came out pretty nice. The touch sensor is the red PCB here. It was easier for me to use this PCB than to make the layout myself, but on the future versions it will probably happen. And uh, this is it guys, this is the Color Can Gauge Mini. And uh, I want to show you also, I have just put the two cases from the micro next to each other and printed them like this. So if you have uh, the need for two display or three display, I can make these custom for you. And then you can mount them next to each other. You can mount it and it will be next to each other with the carbon fiber front. So that was that. Uh, I think this was it. So this is just a preview. Uh, code is not finalized yet, uh, but it's uh, pretty much where I want it. So thanks for watching and uh, please do share this if you think that somebody else would like it. I can use all the publicity I can get. And also, if you would like to support me, you can order anything from Banggood through my affiliate link, which will be in the description. And uh, thank you very much. And uh, till later. Take care.